Using Kai's successes, Avarice and Pilot with Polydrops, Aptera avoids failure. However, how did this come about? The business said in a statement regarding Aptera's most recent YouTube video post. This month, we made significant progress on our production intent vehicles. For PI2, we've completed laser welding the battery modules, are continuing high-voltage integration testing, and have the chassis and suspension in production. And for Aptera Solar, we are excited to announce a pilot program with Everest and the success of our pilot with Polydrops. Let's break down Aptera's accomplishment for you here. Hello, and thanks for stopping by. To avoid missing any of our new videos, be sure to like, subscribe, and click on the bell notification feature. Sharing is greatly valued, and we appreciate your participation and feedback in the comment section below. Aptera continues to make significant advancements in its production-oriented vehicles, which serve as the means of verifying and examining the production design. Aptera released an update on its battery module validation earlier this month. Tim Vaughn stated that this startup has built the remaining modules and finished laser welding for PI2 after the battery modules passed accelerated life cycle testing on a local laboratory's shock table. What distinguishes PI1 from PI2 then? Aptera's wire harness test mule, PI1, is utilized for cable measurements and fitment validation and PI2, the first of several driving vehicles, will follow. Going forward, Aptera is eager to start testing PI2 in real-world settings, so you'll witness the majority of its progress today. The Aptera team has been able to run wires in the bins thanks to PI1. As a result, Aptera has been able to modify the physical cable links and guarantee that the cables are routed according to plan. As the team replaces parts inside PI1 and performs fitment inspections, each sticker you see there denotes a gadget in the car. Aptera installs its air handler and PI1 together with a unique control board for the air handler. Aptera's B-pillar control board, which is also located within, is used to monitor and operate devices including knock-lock sensors, door actuators, and latches. Some of the distributed circuit boards that manage co-located electronics across the car include these two boards. The corporation uses this method to reduce the weight of the wire harnesses, not to mention reducing the size of the connectors on these boards and attempting to use more direct wiring to board connections to save even more weight and space. Additionally, a lot of the boards will be constructed with dust and waterproof coatings rather than the typical large enclosures. Aptera says that they take this approach to every engineering decision in order to ensure that every journey may be fueled by the sun. Alright then, Aptera is working incredibly hard to get this stylish SEV into the hands of customers as quickly as possible. Thus, what is the significance of PI2? The CPC group, an Italian firm that Aptera signed a contract with to construct its specialist composite vehicle bodies, helped Aptera finish its chassis and suspension design last month. In the center of the Italian Motor Valley, where storied supercars and motorbikes have been produced for decades, is where CPC is situated in Modena, Italy. This month, Aptera co-CEO Steve Fambro is excited to announce that the chassis and suspension are currently being manufactured and will be on display at Aptera's offices come summertime. The order is composed of several metal components, some of which are made of aluminum including tiny sections like bin C and C. Steve Fambro claims that Aptera has already noticed improvements from the factory and is excited that new parts will be available shortly. The electrical systems team is currently doing high and low voltage integration testing for the components utilized in PI2 outside the vehicle in anticipation of this exciting occasion. To guarantee that engineers have complete access to the equipment in a safe and regulated environment, this kind of validation is essential. Steve Fambro from Aptera included information about solar progress in the most recent video. The company behind the most efficient solar electric car in the world, Aptera Motors recently revealed that it is strategically entering new mobility markets by licensing its groundbreaking solar technology. This action expands Aptera's revolutionary influence into new areas and is consistent with their objective to build a future in which every travel is powered by the sun. The flagship solar electric vehicle, SEV. Aptera has far greater range and green independence thanks to its state-of-the-art solar technology which also greatly reduces its environmental effect. Aptera's solar-powered electric vehicle can gain over 11,000 miles or 17,700 kilometers of range annually in sunny climates and over 8,000 miles or 12,800 kilometers in less bright ones thanks to solar power. With the development of vehicle solar technology, the majority of drivers may never need to charge their Aptera, which would eliminate the obstacle to EV recharge for most people in the US and Europe and ease grid load.
Aptera is currently using its solar technology to transform several mobility industries and establish new revenue streams for the company, which will help support the mass production of its solar electric vehicle. Aptera has a $130 million patent portfolio, with over 34 patents pending. Currently being used in the recreational vehicle and ground support equipment industries, Aptera's cutting-edge solar technology is set to grow into other areas such as aerospace, logistics, and marine. Aptera claims that solar technology is also progressing very well. The StarCup has finished all of the lamination trays needed to make a whole batch of solar panels for production. During the lamination process, lamination trays offer a sturdy basis for the glass solar cells and enclosed layers. Steve continues by stating that the dye-less casting method used to create these trays produces excellent results without the need for pricey molds. The image you're reviewing is of a finished set of dash panels that are prepared for installation on PI vehicles manufactured by Aptera. Steve claims that Solar Aptera Solar is applicable to numerous other businesses in addition to Aptera's solar vehicles, and this could result in financial success for Aptera. This Carlsbad, California-based solar electric firm had previously increased its solar revenue early on in an effort to have a greater global effect and to turn a profit sooner so that it could increase the manufacture of its solar electric vehicle. The business started a test project that involved adapting one of the biggest airlines in the world's support equipment. Aptera and Everest are working together to adapt this technology to push back tractors and other electric utility vehicles, such as luggage carts, that are used on tarmac. This pilot project aims to reduce maintenance requirements and downtime hazards, potentially eliminating the need for traditional charging entirely and greatly increasing operating readiness. Aptera anticipates that by the end of Q3, the pilot project will be finished. The startup also finished a test project with PolyDrop, a company renowned for its creative EV trailers made for economical and environmentally friendly transportation. Maximum energy capture is ensured by using Aptera's custom fit panels, which also provide a high power output of 1300 watts, providing enough energy for long excursions and off-grid applications. Custom fit panels from Aptera are automotive quality, fit the design of the trailer, and are substantially lighter than conventional panels. Aptera also unveiled a sneak peek of its upcoming website, as the company's current round CF crowdfunding campaign draws to a close. Aptera claims that this new website is vehicle emission forward, and that it was created to have an infotainment system experience that is consistent with the app's design. Additionally, Aptera excitedly states that fresh renders of the production vehicle design will be included with the new vehicle configurator. At last, Aptera is allowing its approved community to invest in any kind of asset they choose. Thus, the startup has brought back the option for self-directed IAS and cryptocurrency investments through our regular offering. On June 20 at 12 o'clock p.m. Pacific time, the company plans to conclude its regular CF crowdfunding with a live video on YouTube. So keep an eye out for this fantastic live broadcast. Aptera will be live with Steve and Chris in addition to the finance, communication, and engineering teams. You will want to be anywhere else during this live broadcast. The upcoming months at Aptera will be quite exciting as we start our funding round with U.S. Capital in July and suppliers continue to deliver production vehicle parts for our PI vehicles. It's been a great deal sticking around to this point. That wraps it up for this video. What do you think about Aptera's latest PI progress, Avers partnership, and the success of its pilot with Polydrops? Let us know in the comments section below. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, and turn on the bell notification icon to stay up to speed with new video uploads. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.